franktalks.com. Hi, and welcome to the franktalks.com podcast. I'm Frank Kermit. I'm a natural therapist and relationship coach. And what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to look at some questions online and answer them here in this podcast so that uh, people can get a sense of uh, what I'm about and uh, how I can help. So I took this particular question from the website DearCupid.org. It's a question written by a woman between the ages of 22 and 25. She's in the United States of America. And uh, here's what she writes. I tend to hang around males far more than I hang around females. I have always been this way, even back in elementary. This particular male friend admitted to me about two months back that he really liked me and thought I liked him too, so we should be in a relationship. I politely told the guy that he was mistaken. I did not like him as anything over a friend and could never see us in a relationship. After that, he backed off and even stopped talking to me for a few weeks. Just to interject here, I think that's probably very good when you ask somebody out and they're not interested. A break just to um, get used to the idea that they're not going to be with you and that they're not going to be in a relationship with you may be a good thing and helps the healing process. She continues to write, Recently, a group of us, uh, which he often is included in, began to go to the movies weekly, so many good ones are coming out, and we are all very interested in film. But now, this guy is becoming clingy. It's a large group of us, usually six to eight people, but he feels the need to purposefully sit by me at the movies, going so far as asking another friend if he would switch seats so he could sit by me. This was the first red flag. Interjection? Yeah, that is a red flag. The guy is still liking you, the guy is still interested, and I think he's probably hoping that you're going to change your mind if he continues to pursue you. She goes on to write, During the movie, I accidentally brushed up against his arm. Now, most people, including myself, wouldn't or didn't think way too much in mind to that seeing as we are sitting in a movie theater. But he responds with nudging me and chuckling. Red flag number two. Uh, Interjection? Yeah, that's right. Uh, He's really hoping that it's a sign. He's looking for a sign that maybe you're going to change your mind and reconsider because he likes you so much. Uh, She goes on to write, Red Flag 3, he has taken a sudden interest in a series he knows I like just to make conversation. Well, that is a tactic, to get closer to someone. When you really like someone, find out what they're into and learn about it. Red Flag 4, when we went out to eat, he saved a seat for me right by him. I didn't want to be rude, so I just sat down. Okay, let me interject here right now. You're too worried about hurting his feelings. You've already set the boundary. You've already said, look, I'm not interested. And every time you politely agree, he interprets your politeness as encouragement to continue pursuing you. If you don't want him to pursue you, if you don't want the extra attention, you don't encourage it. You could have simply said, no, I'd rather sit over there. And yes, you might come across as uh, not being polite. That's the price to pay when you're trying to send somebody like this a message. It's not a pleasant situation, but it's going to continue to get worse because your politeness is being interpreted as, please continue to pursue me because I might give you a chance. That's not necessarily your intent, but it is what he's going to interpret because he already likes you. Now, there's a lot of red flags. Really, this guy is cool, but I think he is trying again to nudge me into liking him and being in a relationship with him. I'm not attracted to him at all. It's not going to happen. I just want to be friends. I would like advice on this. Should I still be his friend and but set boundaries? Or should I stop hanging out with him? Which will affect how I hang around other people in the group? Many thanks. Okay, look, you're going to need to sit him down and talk with him again and say that although you appreciate his advances, they have to stop. You're feeling uncomfortable, and if this continues, you're simply going to have to uh, remove yourself from this group. The fact is, is that by being polite about it and by continuing to sit down next to him, uh, not getting up and moving over, by not giving him a clear sign, he's always going to 
interpret it as, yeah, well, maybe you could keep trying. The fact is, as men, we are taught that you need to go out and pursue a girl. Uh, there are so many stories of women who initially rejected men or said, I don't want to go out with you. And then because the guy simply pursued and was relentless in his pursuit, she eventually gave him a chance. Now, one of the questions you may have to answer is, why aren't you attracted to him? Can you give him that reason? If you can point out how you don't see in the future the two of you working out because you have such different values where you don't have enough things in common, that might be enough to deter him, saying, look, we don't have a future together. You're in to A, I'm into B, it's just incompatible. Now, if you can pick something like that, then by all means, let him know. The other alternative is to consider, well, go out on a date with him. Give him a chance. See what happens. It's very possible that nothing is going to come out of it, but sometimes you ought to give it a shot. You already said that he's a cool guy, and I get that you're not attracted to him at all right now, and let me tell you something, a guy who really adores you, somebody who worships the ground you walk on, that's a very rare thing. Ask women who don't have that kind of male attention. And you say in your in your email here that you hang around with a lot of guy friends, get used to it. It's going to continue to happen. So, you might just might you might just want to try to be a little bit open-minded and maybe go out on a couple of dates with him, give him a shot to sweep you off your feet. Find out if you can create the chemistry. Chemistry isn't something you necessarily react to. Sometimes chemistry is something you got to work a little bit to try to ignite. Be open to it. See what happens. You never know. If he likes you this much, the worst thing that can happen is it turns out that the two of you are not compatible. And if you stay on the path you are on right now, you're going to have to really set some strict boundaries. Chances are he's not going to follow them, so you're probably just going to have to stop hanging around him altogether, and that means not going out with your group of friends, or going out with a different group of friends. That's pretty much it. I hope that you've gotten something out of this. I hope that it helps. And uh, for everybody listening out there, you can be frank with me, and I'll always be frank with you. Take care. LetYourSpiritGrow.com presents The Mystic Art of Reading Your Tarot Cards Love, Money, Career, and Travel I'm Jade, a certified spiritual coach ready to guide you in reading your tarot cards right now. Call Jade at 514-680-3278 That's 514-680-FAST FAST LetYourSpiritGrow.com It's all you have to do.